A Phoenix woman who uh, recently moved here to the area says she is continuing to have a problem with the movers she hired. Yeah, so she contacted 300 Sides Gary Harper for help. Well, the moving industry is one of the most complained about industries with the Better Business Bureau. With that in mind, a Phoenix woman says she wants you to see exactly what she went through with her move. I don't know, sort of like camping out, not even as nice as camping out. A blow-up mattress and a suitcase full of clothes are pretty much all Allison Forsman has right now. This is just a shocking experience. Allison says that shock all started when she hired a moving company called Aero Trucking to move from Reno, Nevada to Phoenix. But according to Allison, as Aero Trucking kept loading up her goods into that moving truck, they also kept presenting her with new written estimates for more money. So the uh, final total was like four thousand some dollars. What I had put down eleven or twelve hundred already. With all of her goods finally loaded up, Aero Trucking said it would be in Phoenix within a few short days. But when Aero Trucking arrived, Allison says the moving company wouldn't unload her goods. They ultimately left with all my possessions. So the truck drove away with everything I have. Now, at the time, Allison's real estate agent took pictures of the moving truck when it had arrived, which to their surprise was a rental truck with a piece of paper taped over it saying executive moving and storage. Remember, Allison says she hired Aero Trucking. I have never, ever experienced anything like this on behalf of a client. Concerned, the two women looked into the matter and realized in paperwork that another business name called Aero Moving and Storage was also involved. Yeah. Allison and her real estate agent say they were confused why so many different names were being used. Regardless, Allison just wanted her items and wanted to pay the balance with a credit card instead of cash. However, the mover said cash or money order only and drove off, leaving Allison's house just as empty as it was before. I thought this is not to be believed. <laughs> Three on your side got involved and we asked Aero Trucking what was behind all the different names. Turns out we discovered Executive Moving and Storage is actually a separate company hired by Aero Trucking to complete the move. As for the other name, Aero Moving and Storage, well, Aero Trucking says it's just another name that they also go by. But listen to this. Three on your side discovered there really is another Aero Moving and Storage. And that company told us we have absolutely no affiliation with Aero Trucking. We have been dealing with this situation for over a year now. We just want the confusion to stop and for them to stop using our likeness. Allison says the moving industry is like a shell game and that she just wants her goods. It's still just hard to take. It's very hard to take. And I still don't know what the answer is. I don't know what's going to happen, how to get my things, everything I have. Now, the good news, after our involvement, it looks like Allison hopefully will be getting her stuff sometime this week. By the way, we did talk to regulators, moving regulators within the state of Arizona, and they say all these name changes within the moving industry, it's common, but it's also alarming to them. If you'd like more information on moving, whether it's across the valley or across the nation, go to our mobile app, AZ Family, and I'll have a lot of information there for you. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.